Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome if you are new. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my laundry room makeover on a budget and I seriously cannot believe what a difference this made. I'm taking you along this journey to share some DIY improvements, organizational ideas, and then the final reveal which I cannot wait for you guys to see. I hope that all of these things combined help you and motivate you to make over your own space into something you love at a minimal cost. If you like transformation videos, definitely give it a thumbs up and let's jump right in. I'm first sharing some clips of what the space looked like so you can really get an idea of how unorganized it was and the lack of functionality for such a small space. I'm going to start by emptying the laundry room. I'm removing these old wire shelves, all of the baskets and laundry detergent so we can start with a clean slate. And a quick rundown of the video, I'll be completing all of my projects and DIYs first and then we'll clean and prep the space for some decorating and organizing. Now that everything is out, I'm using some quick drying spackle paste to fill in any of the holes. I'm really not too concerned with perfection because most of the new shelving will overlap since that's where the studs were in the wall, but I still wanted this area to be as smooth and even as possible so I can apply a fresh coat of paint. And while those holes were drying, I started on the molding. As you can see, there was a line down the middle from where the doors were. They had been painted years ago, but clearly they missed behind the door. So I'm focusing on that and also giving the surrounding areas a quick touch up. For this space, I'm going to be making my own shelves that will essentially hold all of the laundry room supplies and also some minimal decor. I'm prepping the wood with a sanding block just to get up any of the sharp edges and I had Home Depot cut these down to 48 inches each which was the exact size of the previous shelves. And being that they were cut, the edges were a little rough and raw so this was a necessary step. Once the sanding is done, I will quickly wipe them down to get rid of any of the dirt that may be sitting there so I can apply the stain. Thank you. 
For the shells, I'm using a clear matte stain from the brand Verathane. I think that's how you say it. This brand is just easy to work with and convenient. You can find it at Home Depot. I love the color of the natural wood to begin with, so to preserve the integrity of it, I chose to stick with clear and I loved the way the shells ended up looking in the space. I feel that it totally achieves the clean modern boho look that I was going for. And as you can see, I took my brush and worked in small sections. The stain itself dried pretty quickly overall and enhanced the natural grain in the wood without altering the color, which is exactly what I wanted. I'm back inside to sand down the spackle and since I was not taking the washer and dryer out I tried to minimize the mess the best that I could from the sand getting everywhere so I got a little creative and cut a paper plate in half to catch anything that fell. Once that's done I will quickly roll on some paint. The color that I'm using today is Snowbound. This is my all-time favorite paint color. We have this color around our house in several different rooms. It's just the perfect white with a tint of gray and it's by the brand Sherwin Williams. This was hours later. Joe helped me install the brackets for the shelves, which I so appreciated. These are from Home Depot and I believe they were about $2 a bracket. I wanted to stick with the white theme because this space is small, so anything that's white made it look bigger and light and airy. And like I mentioned earlier, the previous shelves were in the studs, so we're just going as close to those holes as possible while also securing all the brackets to the wood itself to make sure nothing fell and was sturdy for everything that would be going on top. Seamless. Next, I wanted to make some inexpensive art, so I bought two small frames from Ikea and then cut some good old regular computer paper into the size that I needed. I just used some acrylic paint to make my own design. I love anything abstract and it's super simple to recreate art. The more you do it, the better you get. I make my own stuff all the time and I love to share these ideas with you so you can make over your own spaces in a cost effective way. A lot of these things anyone can do and it costs almost nothing, but once this dried, I placed them in the frame and those were good to go.
this is the last project before we move on to cleaning the laundry room i had a blue detergent bottle that just didn't match the decor so if you don't want to buy anything new this is perfect just remove the label and spray paint the entire thing whatever color works for your space You just saw me using my Swiffer with the dusting cloth to get anything off the walls and the ceiling. Now I'm spraying the shelves, washer and dryer clean so I can prep the space for decor. This is my favorite thing to do, organize. I bought all the glass jars from Ikea and will be filling them with the laundry powders or stain powders that I have. You'll see in a second, I bought these wooden scoops from Hobby Lobby for 50% off. They were in the wedding aisle, but worked perfectly. Once the jars were filled, I grabbed these labels that I found on Etsy. They are waterproof and were a cute touch, so I'm going to add those and then fill two glass sprayers from Amazon with the liquid stain removers that I have. And I will make sure to link anything that I can down below just to make it easier for you guys. I found these kids shoe bins from the container store to keep my dryer sheets and dusting cloths in. I always look beyond the labels. Just because it's meant for something doesn't mean you can't find a million other uses for it. And this happened to be the cheapest option for a square box with a lid.
I'm finishing up the last of the organization. I know light bulbs seem strange to store in here, but it's easier to find them when they're in one place. And these bulbs are for the lights in the hallway and also the upstairs rooms. Majority of my decor will be based on functionality aside from a few pieces. With not much room, I did not want to go overboard on decor, but rather keep it a minimal space that is sustainable for the long term and also something that is practical to us. I'm incorporating older pieces that I had in my house like the palm leaves, which I use in every room, and some new decor pieces that really help to achieve this organized space. I printed this Alexa sign on the computer and framed it, combined it with my art pieces, and one of the last minute touches that I added was this black pull bar that's meant for cabinets. I hung it underneath the shelf and for only a few dollars, it holds the hangers that I need for air drying clothes in a really cute way. And we are about to do the full reveal. You guys, I cannot believe what a transformation this was. I'm reminding you of the old space so you can really appreciate the after shots. Thank you for spending this time with me. Please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and let me know what you think down below. I will see you in the next one.